My friends, Red, White, and Beautiful is here, and I am too excited. This is really boosting my mood from that whole Facebook drama of a week that I have had. Welcome. How are you? My name is Katie. This is Capturing Fashion with Katie. We're Lula Boutique. Today, I want to talk to you about our Red, White, and Beautiful collection. That is this year's, my hair is a mess. I, I say that every time, don't I? That's this year's Americana collection. We have four new styles here today to talk about, and I am very, very excited. So, um, I want to start with two styles that I won't be trying on for you today. One of them is the biker short. We have a whole video on the biker short. If you haven't caught that, it's down below um, somewhere in, on my YouTube here. Um, I do want to mention, because in that video, I think that I, I never tried on the medium in the poly span blend of the biker short. So if you watched that, um, I did put an update in the description that the poly span actually did run a little bit smaller, and I could not wear a medium in that material, but the cotton, which is actually my favorite anyways, um, fit like a dream in medium through extra large, whereas the poly spam blend, I wanted large or extra large only. But this batch of Americana this year, instead of leggings, we got biker shorts, and I am the most pumped about it because I love our Americana leggings, but I never wear them because they're so hot. So I'm super stoked to tell you that we have biker shorts this year in our Americana collection instead of leggings. So there are no Americana leggings, just the biker shorts in Americana themed, and I am pumped for it. They are all the cotton blend, which personally is my favorite anyways, but they are amazing. I like the other ones too, but I just something about the cotton ones. I don't know what it is. I love them. So um, we just talked about those. Again, you could check out that fit video if you um, need an update on the biker shorts. They come in sizes extra, extra small through 3XL. Um, I prefer, I think, a large, but I can wear a medium. I am wearing biker shorts right now, um, and these are a medium. Large is the most comfy fit for me. Um, I'm a 32 denim size 14 ish, I, you know, you know, so that is one thing I had to talk to you about today. Now, also, in addition, we have kids biker shorts. That is one of the brand new styles that we are introducing today. Biker shorts for kids. They do come in our traditional kid sizes. We haven't had a kid line in a while, but they do come in sizes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Um, I would have Kenzie in here with you, but you know, she's not gonna, um, she's not gonna, cooperate. So it was hard enough just to get her in them. She is currently a 4T and she is wearing the size 4 shorts and she's wearing a size 2 um, in the shirt I realize that we haven't talked about yet. But I realize you cannot see her but there will be a photo if you are in the group on Facebook. If you are not in the group on Facebook, come join us. That is where the live will happen tonight in the group in the event. So make sure you are RSVP to that event. Um, but they are just like the grown-up biker shorts, cotton blend, everything, both super cute. And Kenzie, who is a 4T, wears a size 4. My son, who is 9 and a size 8 pant, I don't know what size he wears because he is at school. But I imagine it's probably pretty similar to our pajamas. So I pulled a size 10 in the pant for him. Um, he does wear a size 10 in our from our pajama line back at Christmas. So And Kenzie wore a 4 in those as well. So it's pretty much lining up whatever you wore for there. Of course, kids, they grow quickly. So keep that in mind. Now, the other style I wanted to talk about that, of course, I will not be trying on for you today is the new Parker. Look at how cute this is. This is a Parker kids top. We have haven't had a kids line in ages and ages and ages. We just have had, you know, the kids pajamas at Christmas time and kids leggings. Um, and for this year, Americana, we wanted them to have a nice full outfit. So we've got the biker shorts and this super cute top. So it does kind of look like um, a kid's version of our live. It does have a little slit on the side on each side here, just a little bit. Um, just to go with growing bodies, the material is very, very stretchy and very, very soft. Um, Kenzie does fit into this four. Again, she's a four T. Um, so she does fit into this four. It's a little bit long, but it's actually kind of perfect because most of her shirts end up being too short. Um, and if you see the picture of her, um, whenever I get to post it, she is, um, wearing a size two currently. She could not be in here to help. Um, <laughs> and, um, that fits her 
perfectly, but I fear that it won't fit her for, for very long because she's growing and she's huge and it is not short. That's not too short on her, but it's on the shorter side. This one does look like it's a tad big and that one looks like it fits her perfect. So this size four would fit her a little bit longer. Um, and again, for Keenan, he's not here. So I pulled him a 10 because that's what he wears in the jammies. I did lay it up next to one of his shirts that he just wore yesterday and it was just a smidge, um, longer and wider on either side, but the shirt he was wearing was pretty slim fit. So I think that would work for him. And again, he's a medium in boys and, um, a size eight in pants. So that, if that could help you. And again, our kids line, so that, or the kids jammies, that is pretty comparable to that. So this is the Parker T. Very, very excited about this one as well. It's so soft and so cute. Now, now it's time to start talking grown up stuff. So I have biker shorts on. We already talked about how those are coming. I'm not going to change around the biker shorts. We've got a video for that. So the other pieces in our Americana collection, we have Coco and Jamie shorts, which um, we all know and love the Jamie shorts. We all love the Coco tank. Um, we have those coming next week. They are already on the way, hoping for Monday. So we will talk about those then, but today we have two brand new styles, and the first one I want to talk to you about is the Frankie. I am so excited about the Frankie. That is what I am wearing right now. So the Frankie is our short sleeve hoodie. Yes. Every time we have a hoodie, my hair is up, so I look like a cone head. It's ridiculous, but I have a hair appointment in like one hour, so I'm rushing through this, and I'll look cute later. Don't worry, and I'll have and I'll have a new do that's not so messy. Um, but super super cute. I am loving this. It does come in two materials. We'll try on both today. We'll try on multiple sizes. Um, this one is a nice lightweight material. It's really really comfy. You can see it is a little bit oversized. I'm actually wearing a medium right now. So the size chart for this one breaks us down for a 10, 12 for the medium, a 14, 16 for a large. Um, if you've been with me a while, you know that when our size chart breaks down that way, quite typically I prefer a medium over the large. Both always work, but I tend to err more on the side of the medium. Um, I'm about a 12-14, but I'm closer to the 14 side because cookies that never went away at Christmas time. Wait until this Christmas. I'll probably be another size. Um, so I love this medium. This so far is the only size that I've tried on. We have over 100 pieces today. So we got there early, got the boxes, we got them all hung up, and we're ready for that live tonight at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 7 Eastern. That is today, May, whatever day it is. It's Friday the 13th. That's what day it is. Um, so again, this one is a medium. This fits great. I definitely feel like I can do a small, um, so I will try that for you as well. Um, the best part about this one is it does have an unfinished hem down here at the bottom. It does have that hem right there, but you can see actually that's just kind of for looks. It's not really folded over. It's not actually hemmed. You can see how it kind of rolls there because we have that unfinished hem here. Now that is so if you would like this to be shorter, a look, huge, huge look right now is the cropped hoodie. So I know that is not for everybody and not everybody wants to wear a cropped hoodie. I personally, they sell them at my gym all the time and I never buy them because they are just a little bit too high for me. But that is a super cute style that a lot of people are rocking. If that is not your look, awesome. Here you go. If it is, then it is an unfinished hem and you can take a sharp pair of shears and chop this baby wherever you would like it. It sits super cute as a crop, like just like how it hangs perfectly. It's just the cutest thing on somebody that can rock a crop. We know that I rock a baby belly down here, a mommy belly, and I cannot do that crop, but you could absolutely cut it if you wanted it to be a little bit shorter. Um, I like a nice French tuck, or I even like some of these if you want to crop but not cut it. Tuck it in up here, the bottom hem underneath the bra, which I just pulled right back out, and then kind of blouse it over this way to give you that kind of faux crop. But it's super, super cute that way. If that is not your jam, absolutely, you don't have to cut it. But if this is maybe a little long for you, want it a little bit shorter, that's an unfinished hem. You can chop it wherever you like or leave it as is. It's not going to fray. Um, so again, I'm right in between the two sizes. So I went with medium. This one feels great to me, but I'm definitely going to try on a large for you and I'm going to try on a small, um, 
we'll kind of decide as we go whether or not I want to get smaller or larger on these. And then we also have the axle to talk about. But first, let's get through this Frankie. The Frankie, by the way, is 44, and I am the most excited about him, her, it. I don't know. It is a unisex top. If you are in the group, then you saw I posted that size chart, and it has a man on it, and it's way cute. My husband is kind of a jerk, so he won't even try it. But if yours will, super good for you and for him. So let's try on, uh, let's go large first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this one, I love this one. You guys, look at it. It's so cute. I love this one. So um, this one is the large. You can see it definitely is longer. It goes almost to as long as my bike shorts. These are a medium, so they're a little bit shorter on me. Um, but they, it's still... It's still pretty long. It is pretty relaxed. So I definitely, of these two sizes that we've tried so far, prefer the medium. It was still plenty relaxed. I feel like this one is very oversized, while the medium was intentionally oversized because it is meant to be a little bit oversized. Um, so for me, again, most of my go-to little row is a medium. So it totally works. That's sticking right on track. But um, I also want to try on a small and see how I feel about that because I might like that as well. I definitely felt like I could do it. This one, the sleeves are a little bit longer. They do go past my elbow. The medium hit right about my elbow. Um, lots of room lightweight material. There are two different materials. Like I mentioned, I am going to try on um, a small in this material, and then I'm going to go back and do a medium in the other material so we can compare the fit with medium to medium on those two sizes. So um, let's try on a small and uh, see how much we like that one. All right, here we are at a small. How cute is this hood? Loving it. Okay, so this one is a small. This is definitely doable. We got a tag back here. You won't have a tag problem because it will be yours and you can pop that tag. <laughs> I cannot pop that tag because I am selling these to you. But um, this one is a small and this is definitely doable as well. It's nice and relaxed up through here as you can see through like the hips and my uh, mommy belly here. It's a little bit more um, form fitted. There's still plenty of room guys. Like it's not like it's not squeezing me. This is definitely a doable size for me. So it's going to kind of depend on how you want that to fit. This is, I can absolutely wear a small. This would not be an issue in any way. I do kind of really like though that medium, which would be my go-to size in most LuLaRoe that has got that just extra relaxedness. It didn't feel too big. Um, this one, I feel like it might look a little bit smaller. It's the pattern and the way that it's falling on me. I think it's cute, but um, it is, you can just kind of see where it kind of hugs a little bit more. Not in any way is it a deal breaker for me though. Um, so this would be a small, super cute. You can definitely go with whatever size you typically go to in the row um, or a size down. I'm usually a medium um, or a large and I really liked the medium and not so much the large and this small absolutely works as well. We've got plenty of room in here. Um, so I do want to try on for you. Let me make sure I have one in medium. Yes, I do want to try on for you and show you the other material. So this one is a really lightweight. It's very, very soft. It's got good stretch. This is a good one. Um, the other one has more of a texture to it, which is I'm super intrigued by. So I want to try one of those on, compare the fit from medium to medium and um, tell you about that fabric a little bit. Okay, slight change of plans. I went with the, the small. Um, now the reason I went with the small is because I threw on that medium right now um, and it felt a little bit tighter and I thought, Ooh, let's do a small. You've just seen me in a small in the other material. This way you can see me in a small in this material so that you don't have to remember, okay, what did she look like in the medium before? You know, so um, I went with this small, which actually is fitting quite nicely. I think that when I threw the medium on, it's because this material, while it does have stretch, it has a different kind of feel. So at first it kind of felt like it wasn't going to stretch as much. And then once I got it on, I realized this is pretty nice. If anything... Um, Actually, this is a pretty perfect. I feel like it might be fitting just the same. The, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the pattern, there we go. The pattern on the other one, I think, made the fit the way it looked a little bit different where this one is a solid, so that looks um, a little bit different as well. But it's feeling very, very similar. Now, this material, you can see, it's almost more of like a sweatshirt material where the last one was like a t-shirt material. This one does have like a texture on the inside that you, well, that you can see. It's a 
little bit more. I don't really want to say rough, but it's a little bit more rough, but it's more, that's a loose string. Um, you can kind of see that texture in there. And this one's thicker and does feel a little bit more like a sweatshirt that you've cut the arms and the, um, and the bottom off on. So this one is, gives me wet, may more, oh my goodness gracious, way more sweatshirt vibes. And the other one is more like t-shirty vibes. Both of them are super duper amazing. And this video is getting super long, but we have one more style to talk about. So let me put that on and come back at you. All right, and now, guys, I get to introduce you to the axle. I'm also very, very excited about this. This one is also a unisex top. Um, does the length and the bottom of this remind you of anything? Oh, my God, I'm loving it so much. So um, I will admit there was a lot, you guys. I was not going to get the axle at first. I was going to wait, maybe get her at a later date, him hit her um, at a later date. But then I heard somebody compare it to um, the Aaron. Now, we are all huge fans of our Aaron long sleeve top. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to get it. And now that it is on... Um, it is definitely feeling like the air, the Aaron. So this is our axle. It is short sleeve raglan top. So the raglan part, I pulled this out so you could see. This one does have the um, the seam right here, but you can't see it as much because this one's a full pattern. So this one, I wanted you to see the raglan basically means it's kind of like our Randy T. Um, just because raglan doesn't mean that it's longer. It means that's how the sleeve is laid out. So you can see this is where the sleeve hem or the sleeve seam hits. And so that is where the sleeve will start. So it starts more kind of in here, just again, like the Aaron that we know and love. Um, so that is what I had to get it. So we only have a select handful of these. We may be getting more. Um, I actually feel like we're going to be getting more because I'm kind of obsessed with this. Um, very, again, very, very stretchy, really nice, soft material. It is similar to the Frankie material, but it's really soft. It's got really good stretch. It's actually very, uh, feels to me kind of like the Kids Parker top, which is very soft and stretchy as well. So um, I heard this compared to the Aaron long sleeve top, and so I had to get it. So I am wearing a medium right now. This size chart is broken down the same way as the Frankie. That makes you a 10, 12 medium, 14, 16 large. So again, right in the middle, I lean, I err towards the side of medium usually when the size chart is like that. And this is a medium in Aaron. I wear a medium or a small. So in this uh, video, I want to try on for you a medium and a small. Um, I just, oh my gosh, I love it. It is long like our Aaron top. When you pull it down all the way, it does have that, um, shirt tail hem here on the side. It is completely bum covering. I like to just pull mine up a little bit, but, um, this through the body definitely feels like an errand to me. It's very, very comfortable, but we have that longer, um, short sleeve here. So it's, it really, this one, this is the only one I've tried on so far does feel to me like a short sleeve errand, which I am loving. I'm going to have to get 20 more, but let's try in a small. Cause I also wear a small errand, um, and see about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. This is nice too. Okay, so this one is the small. I, I'm i absolutely feeling. If you already know and love our Aaron, I don't believe I have an Aaron Fit video um, here on YouTube. I probably have one that I did like a live on the Facebook group somewhere, but uh, they came out in October or well, September. It was our Halloween um, collection last year is when we introduced the Aaron. And this is definitely still feeling to me like the Aaron. This definitely feels like Aaron to me, um, in a short sleeve version. So I am pumped because I wear the Aaron all summer, all winter long. And I was kind of sad that I couldn't do it anymore. So, um, I'm very excited to now have this axle, uh, to take the summer place of Aaron. Uh, the air or the, I almost said the Aaron, the axle is 36. The size chart again, like I said, is broken down the same way, but whatever your favorite Aaron size is definitely works for you in the axle as well. So, um, because it's so comparable, I think it's pretty easy to stop here from the medium and the small. So you see that. So again, today we have the axle, we have the Frankie, we have the Parker kids top, we have kids biker shorts and we have grown up biker shorts. We do have Jamie and Coco on the way for next week in our Americana collection. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. But I am so excited. I definitely, like I said, we only got a handful of the axle, but we'll probably be getting more because I definitely, definitely need these.
in my life. So I will see you guys tonight. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, you enjoy LuLaRoe, or you want to learn more about LuLaRoe, subscribe to my channel. I make these videos for every new style that we get, and sometimes for old ones too. I'm usually just about as messy as I am right now. Um, and yes, I stumble over my words every time, but if you like that kind of thing, I can only be real. Um, so join us, subscribe, give this video a little bit of love, come join me over on Facebook in the group. We will see you there. Thanks for watching.